What's the matter, Eclipse the Nines? Well, even though I'm one of the most versatile powered speakers on the market today, having a built-in phono preamp, RCA line level input, Bluetooth connectivity, subwoofer output, even HDMI to connect to a TV, I still have one thing I'm missing. Oh yeah, what's that? I still can't connect to the internet either via Wi-Fi or Ethernet for more reliable and superior connection to music streaming sources. Oh no, that's so sad, the nines. But guess what? What? What if I told you that I have a little trick that could solve all your problems? What? How? Well, just ween it! Wow, who's this little buddy? This is the Ween Pro. Hi, Ween Pro. Hi. Just plug it into a nearby power outlet, connect the provided RCA cable to its line out, and connect the other end to your RCA line level input. You now have a plethora of wireless capabilities you didn't have before. This is great. Psst, come closer. Okay. Remember how you felt left out because you didn't support voice assistants like Siri, Alexa, or Google Assistant? Yes, but why are we whispering? Because I don't want to accidentally set off other people's voice assistants who might be watching this near one of their devices. Oh, I see. Well, now you can be activated with the sound of someone's voice, since all three of those voice assistants are supported by the Wing Pro. Oh boy, more friends! Hey, Peachtree Nova 300, what's got you down? Oh gosh, it's 2023, and even though I can support up to 300 watts per channel and have a wicked Saber 32 DAC inside me, I only support wired connections. If only I could- I'm gonna stop you right there because I got three words that'll change your life. Oh yeah? Just Ween it! Whoa! Yep! Now that this Ween Pro is connected to your AUX1 input via RCA cables, voila! You now support Bluetooth, Apple AirPlay 2, Wi-Fi, Ethernet, and can even transmit Bluetooth audio to a pair of wireless headphones. The future is now, my friend. Is it really that simple? Sure is. And on top of that, your sound can now be tailored to specific genres with Weem's adaptive EQ, 26 EQ presets, or even custom EQ settings with its 10-band graphic EQ. But wait, there's more! For all you physical media collectors out there, just connect a CD player or turntable to the Weem Pro RCA inputs and transmit that audio to other Weem Pro or Weem Minis connected to other powered speakers or passive speaker systems in other rooms for some whole home music listening bliss while your family cleans the house or just relaxes in their separate rooms. So next time you have powered speakers or high-powered integrated amps or even vintage gear that isn't compatible with today's wireless technologies, remember those three words. Just lean it. We may go side effects of sudden dance parties, an overwhelming sense of audio bliss, rapid heart rate, extreme dopamine release, or just plain fun for the whole family. Ask your doctor today if Weem is right for you. Weem. We put the Wee in streaming audio. It's actually pronounced Wim. Wait, what? Wow, I was stoked when Wim contacted me about sending out a Wim Pro unit for this review. They are not paying me for this review, so thank you for Wim for sending out this unit so I can give you an unbiased opinion. I know I went over quite a few specs during that silly little intro, but let's go over a few more, shall we? The Wim Pro supports up to 192 kilohertz, 24-bit high-res audio. The ability to sync two or more Wim Pro or Wim Mini units makes whole home audio a breeze, whether as individual playback devices or stereo pairs, as long as they're all on the same Wi-Fi network. But not only that, you can seamlessly integrate any existing home speakers you might have, like an Amazon Echo, Google Home Mini, or I think it's called a Google Nest Mini now, or even sync your existing Apple HomePod or HomePod Minis, so they can all work together like friends. Gapless playback is supported, if that's your jam. I alluded to adaptive EQ in the intro, but to elaborate on that a bit more, when adaptive EQ is enabled, the music genre information and other tags included in the audio content are used to adjust the frequency in real time, either bringing rich audio to capture every music detail or making human voices clearer, like in a podcast. It supports all the streaming platforms you can think of, Apple AirPlay 2, Spotify Connect, Chromecast Audio, Tidal Connect, DLNA, Work With Alexa, and it's even Rune Ready. 
and just to reiterate, since nobody's home is exactly the same, the insane amount of EQ presets to choose from or even custom EQ options with its 10 band graphic EQ make it so simple to make your music sound exactly the way you like it. The Win Pro supports routines, like if you enjoy falling asleep or waking up to your favorite music or podcasts. The unit itself doesn't have a whole lot going on. It's very simple. It just has these touch sensitive buttons on the front and on the back we have RCA line in, RCA line out, trigger out, power cord input, microphone, SPDIF in and SPDIF out, AKA toss link or optical, coax out and an ethernet port. It can do a lot of things, but most of it is accessible only via the WIM app. I'm not gonna lie folks, this was one of the most hassle-free app setups I've ever gone through. The graphic interface is clean and legible. As soon as I started the process, it quickly connected to my preferred wireless network. Yes, my network is called Mordor. <laughs> and ta-da, connected. Next up was an update, which is always a good thing to do, so I did just that. At first, I wanted to be clever and rename it Live Wim Room, but I didn't want to confuse the heck out of Siri since I'm deep in the Apple ecosystem, so I just called it Living Room. Ha. This calibration step was really cool though. Measuring the internal circuitry of both the Win Pro and the Peachtree Nova 300 it was connected to for precise clocking and minimizing any latency to almost nothing. Very cool. I decided to set up Apple Home slash Siri support later and that was about it for this initial setup. What's great is that you have all these streaming platforms built into the WIM app itself so you don't have to open all the apps individually on your phone or mobile device, whatever. It's just a giant hub for all your audio streaming needs. There's the graphic EQ if you wanna customize those settings, super simple. One thing to note is that the WIM Pro can only handle one output at a time. As you can see here, choosing line out, spit if out, coax out, or Bluetooth, but not any two simultaneously. There's so much this app offers, but that's all I will get into for this review. But man, it was a simple process. I love it when a streamer as versatile and powerful as this also makes things simple and can be set up within minutes. A real testament to how much Wim puts into their products. I'd say they're on the same level as Apple when it comes to really taking into account the user experience as well as hardware and software that just works really well together. Oh boy. The reason I was very excited about reviewing this was something I alluded to in the intro. I've had this monster setup in mind for quite some time and I could finally make it happen. The system consists of these monster Varus V8B bookshelf speakers from Aperion Audio, which can handle up to 300 watts of power and can be buy-in. So what better way to showcase that power than connected to a Peach 3 Nova 300, which can output up to 300 watts per channel. But I also have these kick-ass Bywire Octave 3 premium cables, also courtesy of Aperion Audio, connecting the amp to the speakers. Music has never sounded better, I'm telling you. Do I need to make a video on cables? In a nutshell, cables are like gasoline. If I had a system with an integrated amp that outputs 50 watts per channel and a pair of bookshelf speakers that can handle up to 80 watts, these Octave 3 premium cables would be completely unnecessary. It would be like putting premium high octane gasoline in a Ford Fiesta. It just wouldn't make sense. But when you have premium components like the Varus VAB bookshelf speakers and Nova 300 amp, using premium cables really brings out the details of music like never before. Putting regular old gasoline in a Porsche would be silly, robbing it of its full potential. Makes sense. So yeah, I listened to some albums on Apple Music that I knew were high res lossless like Dark Side of the Moon and Sgt. Pepper's, but I also wanted to listen to some lossless albums like Tools, Lateralis, and 10,000 Days. I mean, come on now. With Sgt. Pepper's especially, I could not only hear the quality of the microphones they were using, but I could hear the room tone of the space they were recorded in. The vocals were so crystal clear, and the instruments sat in their own little pockets clear as day. Amazing to hear an album recorded so long ago sound so damn good. So yes, it was like I was in a trance knowing I could utilize this killer two-channel stereo system with the ease of today's modern wireless conveniences. It was the best of both worlds, and the Wim Pro made that possible so easily. So if you have vintage gear with RCA inputs or 
powered speakers that don't have all the luxuries you want, I highly recommend getting the Wim Pro instead of forking over a ton of cash for an updated version of whatever component that does support all the things the Wim Pro can do. But that's the coolest part. I'm sure you audiophiles out there have a vintage or old school stereo system whose sonic qualities don't compare to today's modern circuitry. Just a warm tonality or classic timbre that you prefer that only your vintage gear can provide. So this Wimpro brings those two worlds together, old and new, and makes it so easy to bring you all the modern luxuries you're used to with that older gear. So cool. So if you have an old integrated amp or vintage turntable or that treasured tape deck from the 80s that's just been gathering dust in your garage, do yourself a favor and bring new life into them with the Wim Pro. It's one of the coolest streamers ever, hands down. Thank you for joining me on this quick review of the Wim Pro streamer. And now it's your turn. Do you have some old gear you've been wanting to revive as of late? Do you own one of those prized Nakamichi tape decks from the 80s? What about a vintage turntable and your old vinyl record collection? Does the Wimpro sound enticing to you? Let's start a conversation, people. As always, please be kind to each other out there. Don't just listen to music, experience it by integrating a Wimpro into the system. And of course, always be listening. Don't unplug the power supply during the update. Huh. Don't do it. I wonder what would happen. It'll just cause you more problems. If I did unplug it, would it really be so bad? You'll have to start it all over again. But I want to know. Resist the urge. I have to know. I'm telling you, don't do it. No, 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 stop. Yeah, you're right.